as we saw dhritarashtra was getting an account of what was happening from sanjaya now the focus is on the battlefield itself in the battlefield arjuna is now asking his charioteer who he has selected to be none other than lord krishna to take him a little bit forward so that he can see against whom he has to fight and unlike dhritarashtra arjuna had a totally different reaction he found he did not make that distinction between i which belonged to only his own brothers and kauravas which became not his own people in fact he said everywhere i look whether on my side or on the other side they are just my people so his eye was much bigger than the eye of dhritarashtra and because of that reason he broke down so we will see what he tells lord krishna we will see now nakankshe vijayam krishna na cha rajyam sukhani cha kinno rajye na govinda kim bhogai jivite na va he tells lord krishna he says i don't want any victory what will i i don't even want any kingdom any more and all the pleasures with go along with that kingdom in fact i don't even know why am i fighting so up to now the focus of arjuna has been how they were wronged he know he knows very well that the kingdom belonged to his eldest brother yudhishthira and how they were wronged by uh, duryodhana and his brothers where they took away the kingdom from them with not legitimate means but through cheating he also remembers how they were humiliated in the game of dice not only they lost the in the game of dice but his wife draupadi she was humiliated in the public so all that was something which was looming large in his mind his mind was waiting for the day that he is able to take the revenge revenge for how they were wronged and also for the personal insults that they were subjected to including his wife that was something which was unacceptable for him and in fact he was quite looking forward to this event and he was all ready to fight he had no trace of any hesitation up to now okay in fact he had gone to lord krishna and he had asked for help to be able to fight and finally the day had come that he could settle accounts for years of wrong that they had to go through but looking at the situation being right in front of the situation his reaction was totally different all this sense of revenge totally melted down also his sense of how they were wronged and they wanted to teach kauravas a lesson all these feelings were totally gone from arjuna now he felt that the war was something which was too big a price to pay for what had happened he was very aware of the fact that in order to win the war he would have to kill everyone because if anybody survived then the war was not going to be won and who he had to kill was all his cousins who were after all his own family he doesn't make that distinction that me is only my brothers and the people that i love and then the others who are uh, duryodhana no for him duryodhana was also his own brother and he saw the enormity of loss but that was not the only thing he also saw the fact that if he had to win this battle he would have to kill bhishma 
who was his own great grandfather in whose lap he has grown up and he was so much revered by arjuna so enormity of killing bhishma was also looming large in his mind and then who else was on the other side it was dronacharya his own guru from whom he had learned the archery and all the skills of weaponry so he had to kill him because dronacharya also happened to be on the side of duryodhana so all these people that he loved he had to kill plus all the other people who all the soldiers and all the other kings that had gone on the side of duryodhana he had to kill them all so the enormity of destruction that was going to take place was something which was bothering him and that shows that he was thinking just beyond his personal revenge or his personal sense of being wronged he was looking at the repercussions of his actions on the society as large how many people are going to suffer how many people are going to be killed how many uh, 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 people that he reveres very much are going to be no more after the battle and that is something that shook him totally and he weighed his winning the war and his enjoying the kingdom against all the destruction that he was going to be causing and he felt that if he weighed the two definitely uh, uh, he should not fight because he can live with very little he was not even any longer interested in enjoying the kingdom in fact this is what he says that kim ho rajya na govinda he govinda what will i do after getting and winning this kingdom and all the bhogas all the pleasures that come along with it are of no use to me because for with whom i would like to enjoy all the riches they themselves will be gone as a result of the war so you can appreciate how arjuna has a major shift taking place right in front of the battle field what is interesting here is also to note the fact that both dhritarashtra had an emotional response and also arjuna had an emotional response both of them were responding emotionally but that showed exhibited a totally different type of emotions dhritarashtra's emotions were my sons and i'm going to sacrifice sense of dharma or what is right and what is wrong because of my emotional attachment with my own sons arjuna's emotional reaction was how can i cause so much destruction in the society for my sake just to win the kingdom that is a bad bargain okay just for me to enjoy all the pleasures that go along with the kingdom that i am ready to just fight everyone i'm ready to destroy everyone he totally broke down but not because he wanted to see the destruction but because of his compassion for the people who were going to be sacrificed as the result of the war so that means that two people can have emotional reactions but the nature of emotions can be totally different one emotion is totally self centered the other emotion is somewhere where you see the repercussions of your action at a much greater level you consider many different things than just your personal revenge or your personal pleasures and that is the emotional reaction that arjuna has which is so much more nobler and that is why you can understand why the timeless teaching of gita went to arjuna look at what exhibition of highly noble and highly refined emotions nakankshe vijayam krishna na cha rajyam sukhani cha kinno rajena govinda किंभोगय जीवित नवा